Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Friday, the seventh day of July, so it's seven seven today, which is kind of cool. Oh. Uh, National Day of Rock and Roll today. Uh, Global Forgiveness Day, so give forgive everybody out there today. <laughs> National Dive Bar Day. Heidi's I fan love of dive, dive bars. bars. World Chocolate Day. I love chocolate. I do too. National Macaroni Day. Big fan as well. Me too. National Strawberry Sunday Day. We I are going to go have one heck of a day. And National Father Daughter Take a Walk Day. Oh, I missed out on that. Our daughter, she was visiting and then uh, they just left. They went back home, so don't get to do that. She's all grown up now. She recently yeah, had a birthday, 22. Is. Our baby is 22. How did that happen? I know. Uh, hey, for those of you who are big fans of Yellowstone, maybe, just maybe, you've tuned in and seen a little bit of the uh, origin story, 1883, from the makers of Yellowstone. Well, I have Eric Nelson joining me. He's on that program. We're going to chat with him all about that coming up. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Despite the importance of internet in our everyday lives, the television is still the central entertainment hub for most homes. So, uh, and I know there are some TVs, by the way, that are connected to the internet, and that makes a big difference. But it stands to reason the average consumer believes that the more you spend on a TV, the higher quality you'll get. But according to a new study, that's only true to a point. Perfect rec analyzed 262 different popular TV models. First of all, there's that I many didn't different even know. kinds yeah, of TVs. Yeah, exactly. They found that the one grand mark, uh, once you get to that, anything above that, rapidly diminishes the return for 65-inch TVs. Huh. The team determined that $1,250 is kind of the sweet spot for picture quality on a 60-inch to a 69-inch TV. Uh, once you pass this price range, by the way, quality does not improve much at all. In fact, unless you're willing to pay hundreds or thousands more, you're most likely not even going to be able to tell the difference in quality, wow. according to them. So Interesting. TV salespeople everywhere are going, John, quit telling people that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just reading the study. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that if you're hoping to one day talk to aliens out there, the computer is most likely going to talk to him before we do. Yeah. So they're predicting right now that AI would probably talk to our AI computers before they would talk to us. Harvard professor of astronomy predicting all this, by the way, says that uh, if there's extraterrestrials, they'll probably chat with artificial intelligence first, mostly because they would feel a kinship with the technology. It says God versus Alien is a documentary that's coming out about an interstellar traveler and uh, what what that would be like done without electronic gadgets and devices rather than biological creatures because the journey would take so long. So they're saying if they did have something like that, a, an alien that came all the way from a far, far away, it would most likely be something that would be more robotic than biological is what they're saying. Interesting. They think it would take 50,000 years to get here from wherever there is. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. We haven't had a bizarre Nicolas Cage story in a while, and this one I think is an older one. I just love him. I do, too. Mini Driver claims that he once paid for an airplane seat for his son's imaginary friend. She said uh, this story <laughs> happened a while back, and it proves that Cage is not the mean-spirited person that some people try to make him out to be. She commented was he was on a plane uh, with Nick Cage. She was on a plane with Nicolas Cage and his son, 
and they had a seat that had been purchased for the son's imaginary friend. Now, in the story, she doesn't say which son, but one of his sons. I think that's kind of cool, actually. I think that's adorable. And John Goodman uh, from the Connors, Righteous Gemstones from Roseanne, Mm -hmm. he said that he misses working with Roseanne, but he's not sure that he would work with her again. So that's like, you know, doesn't make any sense. It's like him covering his base is good. I like her a lot, but I don't know if I could work with her anymore. So I'm like, yeah, what are you, what are you, what are you saying here, John? Exactly. And a different John, John Hamm is now a married man. He wed his Mad Men co-star, Anna Osceola, uh, last Saturday. So there you go. Yeah, he seems like a neat dude. Big screen, a little screen brought to you by insurancechicken.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Power outages rock. Instagram a little over a week ago. That was about a week ago now. They knocked out the servers last Friday night. And for some places, they were still out on Saturday morning. So some people had to eat their food without posting a photo of it. Oh, my gosh. I know. So I'm saying. I'm surprised there aren't more casualties. Yeah. Well, we still haven't got all the numbers in. That's true. Uh, Yeah. So hopefully, you know, everything's fine with you and yours. Did you make it this last week? Again, uh, the American Heart Association has released a list of songs you can do CPR to. Staying Alive is the <laughs> Staying most popular. Staying Alive, yeah. yeah but they, they're like, okay, if you're not a disco fan, there's all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, there's there's one that I don't think is going to make it to the list. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> uh, okay. Although that's probably, you could probably do it to that. You probably but could. Just don't say it out loud while you're doing it because, you know. If, if you're the one getting the CPR, that's not very reassuring. <laughs> and it's commonly asked question, but now we have an answer straight from the source. How often should you wash your jeans? Heidi, how often? I don't know, like once a month? Well, listen to what they say. <laughs> Levi, No, no, it's from Levi's designer, director, Paul O'Neill. He has personally shared that he washes his 30 to 50 wares. So he wears them 30 to 50 okay, times so first. once a month. So that's what, well, 50 would be almost two months. Yeah. He must not do much for a living. If you can wear your jeans for a month or two. Well, if you're two, working in the yard in jeans yeah, or whatever, I could you know, you need to wash no. them more. But I hardly ever wash my yeah, jeans. He said he recommends jeans be washed on gentle cycle with cold water so the color doesn't fade. And then he encouraged you to hang them outside to dry. Never dry jeans in the dryer, he says. He says, the more you oh. wash your denim, the lighter it will become. He did point out, however, that uh, how often jeans should be washed is really a personal preference. There's yeah. no official rule. Rather than washing them, some people have other ways to freshen their jeans, like putting them in the freezer. What? Yeah, I've Spraying never heard them of that. with vinegar. Why? Ew. Or hanging them in the sun for a UV wash to kill off bacteria. Just wash your jeans, people. I I hardly ever wash my <laughs> jeans. I really don't. Is that where there's flies buzzing around you all oh, the time? Oh, whatever. I'm just kidding. All right, Scoop of the Day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at InsuranceChicken.com. Let's face it. We don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to InsuranceChicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at InsuranceChicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit with Eric Nelson. And for those of you who've been uh, caught up in the Yellowstone origin story, 1883, you might recognize this guy. He's on the program. Sir, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, John. Happy to be here. This uh, Paramount Network has got like a runaway hit. They've got not one, not two, like several of these. And you're on 1883. And this first premiered back in December of 2001. Let's talk a little bit about your role in this story and and, kind of get people up to speed if maybe they haven't had a chance to catch it yet. Yeah, it's actually 2021, a little, 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 little closer to uh, to today when we first aired it. Um, but it's uh, it's the origin story of the Dutton family that you all know from uh, Yellowstone, and uh, it's their journey across America in the late 1800s. 
and kind of their fighting for their fight for survival and making a better life for themselves. And we, we really see what, what life was like on the trail back then and, and how a family had to go, you know, from the South to the North to, to, to give themselves a better opportunity and a better life. And it's, it's we see all the ups, the downs and in-betweens. It's, it, you know, it's uh, at times difficult to watch because we are truly depicting how it was back then. And then there are times where, you know, you're, you're laughing and you're crying and you're sweating and you're all the emotions and feelings. It's, it's a roller coaster, but it's, God, it's, you know, it's a part of American history that, that we don't see often. So it's, it's really, it's quite a journey. And there's quite a fan base for Yellowstone. And there's also a big fan base for this, 1883. A lot of the folks that were watching Yellowstone, as soon as this came out, they were hooked instantly. Were you a fan of Yellowstone before you got a chance to be a part of this? I was actually, I was a mega fan because, it, but I was a little late to, late to the bandwagon, no pun intended. We, uh, when the pandemic hit, Yellowstone was my first kind of binge show that I, that was, that I watched during the pandemic. And so, but before that, my entire family had already been fans of the show. They've been obsessed with it. So they were finally like, Eric, now's your time. You've got nothing to do in the world. Watch the show. And so I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. I fell, I fell out of my seat. It was just, you know, became my, my favorite television show immediately. And then, uh, you know, 1883 dropped in my lap and I, I just, I couldn't believe it for the first time. It was a show uh, that my entire family uh, were fans of, and, and uh, you know, from from my younger cousins to, to my grandparents, everybody loved Yellowstone, and so I knew in hindsight they were going to love 1883, and that was that was really special for me. And the thing that's neat, again, it already had a built-in fan base, but then they attached some huge names to this, Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Billy Bob Thornton. What was it like to go, my name is on the list with these other names? That's a pretty good list to be on. <laughs> it really is, and honestly... I know one of these days I'm going to wake up from this dream. I hope it's not today. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it still feels surreal. It really does. And, uh, you know, but the best part about it is, you know, you idolize these people your whole careers and your whole lives. And you listen to the music and you watch the movies. And you just pray and hope that they're halfway as decent as you expect them to be when you actually meet them. You know, you kind of envision what, what they'd be like. And sometimes you're let down. Sometimes your idols aren't. You know, they say don't meet your heroes. Well, in this case, I'm so glad I did, and I'm so glad I got to spend so many months with them because they're the most genuinely kind, giving, amazing human beings on the planet. Uh, put their talent aside. I mean, they are just truly, truly uh, lo- loving people, and it made this whole experience you know, that much more special. I love that. Now, your character, Ennis, in uh, 1883, let's talk a little bit about your character, and are you anything at all like this character in real life? I mean, listen, the skills that Ennis has, they they. they Sam, Sam Elliott's character, you'll see in episode one, he sits me down and he's like, hey, we need you to get us across this country. You've got the skills, you've got the mindset, you've done this before, uh, please help us on this journey. And, uh, you know, Eric Nelson, absolutely not, would not have those skills. <laughs> and I don't think I would last 10 days in the 1800s. Uh, I've gotten so used to, to, to the way life is today. Um, but, you know, in a lot of ways, I am like Ennis. You know, he's 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 a kind spirited uh you'll see he kind of brings the levity and light on the show um and he's got a heart full of love that that we, we get to see him kind of you know um outpour uh to uh elsa dutton uh so you know we do we've got a lot of the, the same um mentality and and, and emotional uh, similarities uh but as far as you know being a bad and it's got that one by tenfold i love it well we've got a new season on paramount network Eric, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it, sir. Hey, thank you, John. Y'all have a great rest of the day. I appreciate all the fans that you guys are going to come out and watch the show. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Again, 1883 on the Paramount Network. All of the information and the trailer, all the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Japanese ATMs sterilize the cash before it's dispensed. That's interesting. Oh, so that's actually not a, a bad idea. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Apes make human laugh-like vocalizations when they're tickled. So if you tickle Aww. an ape, they'll laugh, and then they'll rip your head off. <laughs> so don't do that. 
Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Canadians say sorry so often that the Apology Act was passed in 2009, declaring that an apology cannot be used as legal doesn't evidence mean they are for guilty. admission of guilt. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, he said, I'm sorry. That doesn't mean that he did it. Yep. All right. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If a man's tie is too tight, his vision will get worse. Oh. Oh, wow. I haven't worn a tie in a while. I'm trying to think of the last time. I bet it's been a couple years since I've worn a tie. So huh. I'm going to have to get my... I have to, it's have been to a while. find some reason to dress up, I guess. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Some clouds travel up to 161 kilometers per hour or 100 miles per hour across the sky. This is some fast clouds. It'd be like a NAS cloud. <laughs> wow. No? All right. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Here's a question for you, Heidi. 15, one five, 15 percent of people say this is the talent they wish they had. What is it? It's one that you wish I had, but I don't have this talent. Uh, the talent of being able to just be quiet for a little while. Wow. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. Believe oh. it or not. Dancing. That's not what I meant. Dancing is the answer. Oh. I'll be in the corner being quiet for a while. <laughs> Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A man accused of robbing a woman at gunpoint outside of her Indianapolis home insisted that she friend him on facebook oh then my gosh asked her out on facebook yeah Amber good luck dude Baron says she was uh, checking her mailbox when a man approached her he pulled out a gun and he demanded to get inside her home she said no i'm not letting you in my home um damien boyce is the guy's name uh instead handing him a hundred dollars she just gave him a hundred bucks she's like what? you're not coming to my home then he allegedly pointed the gun at her and said, okay, add me on Facebook. According to court documents, she said, I thought if maybe if I added him on Facebook, he would leave. And he did. Soon after, she started getting messages from the alleged gunman, including one where he asked to meet up with her to, quote, chill. One of the messages read, well, I'm not going to say the first word, but then it goes on to say, you was too pretty to rob. But doesn't know she have her his identity yeah. for the yeah. police? Yeah. Did he get arrested? I don't. It doesn't say <laughs> on here, does it? Did he? Did she call the cops? I would hope so. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. It doesn't say on here that she. Wow, that is not smart. Identified by police, so I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Huh. I have no idea. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Going to continue from yesterday. These are things that are Canadian slang terms that confuse people from other parts of the world. Okay. Uh, where are we here? Pencil crayons, a distinctly Canadian term for colored pencils. Okay. Eaves trough sounds like a very extravagant thing, but it's just rain gutters. Chocolate bar. Other places call it a candy bar, but when you get right down to it, it really is a chocolate bar. A stag is a bachelor party. The female equivalent mm. would be a stagette. Um, a gitch or gotch, a very classy term for men's underwear. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've known all of them up until that one. Dinged. In the U.S., cars get dinged. In Canada, wallets get dinged. Oh. Like, I got dinged 110 bucks for that speeding ticket. I've heard oh, that before. Okay, yep, I've heard that. Housecoat. It's an item of clothing that others refer to as a bathrobe 
or a dressing yeah. gown. Yeah. So house coat. You can read more of these, by the way. There's uh, several more that I'm not going to get to. Uh, they're all in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at insurancechicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at insurancechicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to insurancechicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at insurancechicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today comes from Jay Trackman, who says, Never criticize your spouse's faults. If it weren't for them, your mate might have found someone better than you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if it weren't for Heidi's faults, she definitely <laughs> wouldn't have stooped so low to marry me. What faults, John? Uh, well, I've got the list right over here. <laughs> so. Oh, I guess that's not, that's not a list of that. No, you don't have many faults. I do. Okay. I'm aware. Uh, five or ten. All right. Quote of the, <laughs> just kidding. I love you, baby. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. And I love this story. This is really cool. It says, I do believe in angels. Delivery man saves an elderly woman who was stuck in a window for five hours. Can you even imagine? Oh, geez. Yeah, a newspaper delivery man is now a local hero. A 78-year-old woman had been stuck in a window for five agonizing hours. Jeez. Story unfolded when the woman, identified as Nancy, found herself trapped in a precarious situation as she was attempting to break into her own home through a window after she had locked herself out. Oh. In her desperate efforts to get inside, she became stuck. Oh, no. She says, because of surgery, I had uh, two hip replacements. I couldn't get past my mid part of my leg. She said, I, I reached around. Uh, the more moving I did, the worse it felt. Oh, no. She was stuck half in and half out of a window for five hours. She said, nobody could hear her and hope was running out. I was asking God, please... This is not the way I want to be found. And it was just when all hope seemed to be lost, when out of the corner of her eye, she saw a blinking orange light on top of a car. Well, that car happened to be driven by Jose Sanchez. He was on his normal paper route early Tuesday morning when he heard screaming and saw Raven sticking uh, sticking out of the window. That was her last name, by the way. There we go. So uh, Nancy, same person. There weren't two people stuck in the window. I'll just make sure I cleared that up. (laughs) Right. Uh, how I screamed, I had no idea, because she was pretty much oh, to the point yeah. where she was out. Jeez. Anyway, uh, he called 911, and help was on the way, and next thing you know, she's calling him the neighborhood guardian angel. Aww. I think this is really cool. She said, yes, I do believe in angels, and people are put in a place for that time, and that night, that morning, was my time to be helped by Jose. So that's really cool. That is there, very cool. There is a link to a video. If you'd like to see the video and get all the details, there's photos as well. It's all in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great Friday. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.